Hey everyone, it's me, Sarah, here with the Enosburg Public Library, and welcome to our Tuesday STEAM video. So, today we are going to learn a little bit about leaves and why they change colors. But first, I'm going to tell you what you're going to need. You're going to need chromatography paper or filter paper, or you can also use coffee filters, and that's what I'm going to use. Um, a test tube, um, assorted leaves, so you pick a bunch of leaves that you can. I have this one, a little bit more greener, and then I have a, a brown one right here. I don't have any like colorful ones. I don't know, if you still have some around in your yard, pick them up, grab them, and have them for our little test. Um, what else? You're going to need rubbing alcohol, a quarter and I think that's it now I don't have a I don't have a quarter on me right now so I'm gonna be using something else but first let me tell you a little bit um about the science of leaves I don't know much but um you know like during the wet and warm days of spring and summer the leaves are very hard at work because they're making food for the tree so the leaf, uh, the leaf cells contain chlorophyll, which, why, it is green. It's a chemical that absorbs sunlight and converts energy into energy if necessary. So chlorophyll is green, and it's giving the leaves the green color for the warm part of the year. So when summer turns to fall, the chlorophyll breaks down, and the, the green color disappears, and it fades a little over time um, that's where the yellows and oranges and browns come in and they were always there but they're just hidden under the vibrant green color so as fall continues additional chemical changes may occur producing more of the red and bright oranges you see in trees so I wrote down da 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 the also, like, the reason why a tree, uh, the leaves change different colors has a lot to do with the temperature, the sunlight, and the soil mo moisture, and it changes, it makes a big, um, role on, like, why, like, over there that tree is yellow, but why is it red over here? It has a lot to do with the soil, and I think, like, nitrogen. Again, I don't know much. Um... So, I also have these papers for you in your craft bag. So, it's just a little bit, like, just to give you something to do, a little worksheet. So, why do leaves change color? You write your research, your experiment, your hypothesis, observation, and your conclusion. And the next page is why, what, how, and when. And this is going to be your little science journal. So that's what you have for this. Um, we are going to be doing the chrom chromatography. I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. It's a scientific process that separates a mixture into its parts using solvent and filter paper. For leaf uh, chromatography, you can separate the different components of the leaf and give it different colors by putting it in solvent quote, rubbing alcohol and filtering it. Uh, the different leaf components move at different speeds through the filter, causing them to separate, leaving behind lines in different color and different color on the filter. So, this is what we were going to do. We're going to get our filter paper. We're going to cut it into strips. If I can grab it out. Mm. Oh, you're going to also need glue dots too, I think. And test tubes, if you have them, I don't. So I'm going to be using clear cups. Um, so we want to cut these. Oops. And even though this is round... And if you have test tubes, you want your filter to be cut narrow enough to fit in them. Oops. I think 
you know, we need to cut another one. So, I'm going to have four pieces, and what we are going to do is connect the strips together using a glue dot. So, I'm going to get our handy dandy glue dot. And... Now they are connected. And next we're going to place the leaf at the bottom of your filter of the strip. So at the bottom, this part, we are going to put the this on top of the leaf. Cover it with another piece of filter player paper. I think we're going to do this. I'm going to flip it over. And since I do not have a quarter, this is where you're going to need your quarter. And you're going... I'm sorry. So this is what I have. I'm putting this on top, and then I'm going to go like this. And then I'm going to rub it like that onto the filter paper and it says be kind of firm with it but don't go too hard because you could rip it and you just want to kind of like get just enough on the paper I honestly wondered if that works. that's one I'm gonna make another one and I don't know if the brown one will work because it is doesn't have any um, you know it's a dead leaf it doesn't have life to it so it's not going to but I'm gonna try it anyways where did I put my glue dot And now, like I said, we're going to do it with the brown one now. And I can't tell. So I got the brown on. I rubbed the brown on. Doesn't look like much, but on the top of it, I'm gonna rub more of the green. A little bit more brown. All right, so you have these, right? And the next thing you're going to do, <coughs> excuse me, dun, dun, dun. we are going to take our cups now and we are going to 
get our rubbing alcohol. Ow. So it says add one to two eyedroppers full of rubbing alcohol. So we'll I'm going to do one, two, and if you would like, this mother, she, um, and if you have them, her child wore safety goggles, just in case, because you know you have to be safe with the rubbing alcohol. Okay, now that we have those, dun 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 dun. I'll put it in a separate container. Now wrap the top of the edge of your filter paper strip around the center of a toothpick. So, I have my toothpick and I am going to wrap it. And we want to get it in the center and then hang the strip into your test tube. You want the bottom of the strip just to touch the alcohol at the bottom of your cup. While the toothpick, I think this is enough. Oh, that might be too much. I'm going to roll it a little bit more. You can see how the alcohol is rising up. So I'm going to do that with this one as well. I think I'll... So you can see what I'm doing. 